Office 2010 calculations in groups. Okay, so once again we're going to open up our report and we're going to go to our design view to make changes to our report. So here we've got the preference field and this indicates uh, whether the people prefer a hard copy book or a soft copy book or electronic book rather. And what we want to do now is we want to count how many people uh, prefer soft copy books and how many people prefer hard copy books. Okay, so in order to do this, we have to create a footer section for this grouping. Okay, so we're going to have to go to our design tab and we're going to select group and sort so that we can see our grouping here. So to add a footer section, we're going to go to more. And we're going to select without a footer section. We're going to click on the drop down and we're going to select with a footer section. Okay, so if you scroll down on your main report view now, and you're going to select with a footer section. And that will insert a preference footer section over here. Once you have that footer section, you can go to your design tab again. And you're going to select a text box uh, to insert your calculation. Okay, so you're going to click on text box and you're going to drag that in. And you're going to end up with a label and with the actual text box. So just move that up. So where it says label, I would just say uh, total. And then here where it says unbound is where you're actually going to type in your calculation. So you're going to, I'm going to say equals uh, count. And we're going to count the number of names in each group. Remember that you need to put block brackets around the field names that you're going to use in your calculation. You're not going to see the answer here. You'll need to go to your um, report view or your print preview view. So in your print preview view, there's your label that you've typed in and there's your calculation. So there's one, two, three, four, five people who prefer electronic books. And if you scroll down, one, two, three people who prefer the hard copy books. Okay, so that was the long way around. Let's just go back to design view quickly. And I'm just going to get rid of the footer section. So I'm going to say without a footer section. And I'm going to just say yes to that error message. Okay, the short way of doing this is by going to your details section in your grouping. Then selecting the field that you want to use in a calculation. So in this case, name. It could also be amount or anything else. And then you're going to go to your design tab. And you're going to go to your totals section over here. Right. And you'll see it gives you two options. Count records or count values. Um, if you were working with uh, numerical data or with currencies, for instance, you, the other uh, functions would be available like sum and average, max and the rest of them. Okay, so I'm just going to say count all the records. So select count records. And Access will then automatically insert that footer section for you. So you don't have to go and change this with footer section. It will do it for you. And it will automatically insert the count function for you. Okay, so let's quickly go to our print preview again and you'll see it will give you the same answers over here. Obviously now you don't have that label, but you can always insert the label separately.